Question number 15, two forces of magnitude the 4 and the F, Newton, act on a particle and the measure of the angle between them is 135. If the direction of the resultant is inclined by an angle of measure 45 on F, find the measure of F. So here we have angle of measure 45 and here is the resultant R and here we have F. So the second force will be 4 and this angle equals 90. Why 90? Because the angle between R and the F equals 135. 135 minus 45 equals 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Now we write the rule tan theta equals F2 sine alpha over F1 plus F2 cosine alpha and we will substitute theta equals 90 if we consider theta equals 90 we consider F1 equals 4 if we consider theta equals 45, then we consider F1 equals F. Because the measure of the angle between R and F is 45. So we consider theta equal 90. And we consider F1 equals 4. As the measure of the angle between uh, 4 and the R is 90 degrees. And we rewrite the rule with substitution. Tan theta or tan 90 equals F2 in this case will be F sine 135 over F1. In this case, I said it will be 4. 4 plus F cosine 135 we know that tan 90 is undefined undefined then the denominator equals 0 because this fraction all of this fraction is undefined it means that the denominator equal zero the denominator equal zero so we put four plus f cosine 135 equals zero it means four plus f multiply what is the value of cosine 135? It is negative 1 over root 2. All equal 0. So, 4 equals positive f over root 2. Multiplying both sides by root 2, what we get? We get that F equals 4 root 2 Newton. Now we will go to the second question. The next question it will be number 16. Two forces of magnitude 4, it is the first force, 4, and F, the second force, 
act on a particle and the angle between them is 120 120 if the resultant is perpendicular to the first force so we must uh, draw the resultant perpendicular to 4 like this so the measure of this angle equals 90 degrees so what is the measure of the angle between R and F it will be 30 because 30 plus 90 equals 120 now we will use the same rule tan theta equals again F2 sine alpha over F1 plus F2 cosine alpha so tan 90 90 here is the 90 between theta and uh, between the resultant and the f1 so in this case we consider 4 equals f1 so we write f1 equals 4 plus f2 it will be f cosine 120 degrees in the numerator we have 4 sine 120 degrees as we said before 1090 is undefined undefined how we use this information we consider the denominator equal 0 because division by 0 is undefined is meaningless so 4 plus f cosine 120 equals 0 and you substitute what we get 4 plus f multiply cosine 120 equals the negative half all equals 0 and from that we can deduce that f equals 8 newton next question two forces of magnitude f and f root 3 newton act on a particle if the magnitude of their resultant is 2 f newton find the measure of the angle between the two forces so we have f1 equals f and f2 equals f root 3 and we have r equals 2f newton what is the required the required the angle between them here alpha is unknown it is required so we use that rule r square equals f1 square plus f2 square plus 2f1 f2 cosine cosine alpha now we substitute r equals 2f so r square equals 4f square equals f1 square but f1 equals f here so we write f square plus f2 square it will be 3f square 
plus 2 multiply f1 multiply f2 f root 3 multiply cosine cosine alpha and then uh, we simplify 4f square 4 f square equals f square plus 3 f square equals 4 f square plus 2 root 3 f square cosine alpha don't forget alpha is unknown so 4 f square minus 4 f square we bring it here with a negative sign 4f square minus 4f square equals 0 so 0 equals 2 root 3 f square cosine alpha dividing both sides by 2 root 3 f square what we get we get 0 equals cosine cosine alpha and from that you can deduce that alpha equals cosine minus one zero which equal 90 degrees so the included angle between the two forces is 90 degrees next question Two forces of magnitudes 12 and 15 Newton act on a particle and the cosine of uh, the angle between them equals negative 4 over 5. So F1 equals 12 and F2 equals 15 Newtons and cosine alpha equals negative 4 over 5 considering alpha is the angle between them find the magnitude of their resultant what is the value of r and the measure of the angle of inclination of the resultant to the first force 212 so here uh, we will use the same rule r square equals f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cosine alpha don't forget that the required here is to find the magnitude of the resultant so we write r square equals f1 square it is 144 plus f2 square 225 plus 2 multiply 12 multiply 15 right 15 multiply cosine alpha cosine alpha equals negative 4 over 5 now we will use the calculator to calculate this uh, right hand side to find the r square so r square equals equals 81 you can use calculator your calculator to calculate it so r square equals 81 and then r equals root 81 it means r equal 9 newton 
now find the magnitude of the resultant okay and the measure of the angle of inclination of the resultant to the first force so the first force it is 12 so we rewrite the rule tan theta theta here is required equals f2 sin alpha over f1 plus f2 cosine alpha what that mean so uh, we need to calculate theta we know the value of f2 it's 15 f1 it's 12 sine alpha it is unknown we know that cosine alpha equals uh, negative 4 over 5 so we can draw a simple triangle like this so what is the length of third side the third side equals 3 I will calculate it using Pythagoras theorem 5 square minus 4 square equals root 9 it is equal 3 now we can calculate sine alpha it is equal opposite over hypotenuse equals 3 over 5 so tan theta equals f2 it's 15 sine alpha 3 over 5 over f1 it's 12 plus 15 cosine alpha which equal negative 4 over 5 calculating this fraction what we get I calculate it here it will be 15 multiplied 3 over 5 equals 9 over 12 minus uh, uh, 5 and 15 is 3 negative 12 negative 12 12 so it is undefined you can say undefined Why it is undefined because the denominator equals zero, so theta equals ninety degrees. Ninety degrees. بكده بكون انتهيت من هذا الجزء من حل التمارين exercise one one in statics. وان شاء الله نكمل وعاوز اسمع رايكم في طريقه الشرح الجديده ديت باستخدام الجرافيك تاب بتمنى تكونوا استفدتوا بكل دقيقه معايا ربنا يوفقكم جميعا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته